The modern day handhelds are totally revolutionizing the gaming landscape and there's no denying that. Today, we are going to explore the exciting world of handheld gaming with a special focus on Windows handheld devices. From high-powered beasts to budget-friendly options, the market has something for every type of gamer. We've scoured the tech world to bring you our top picks in the category. Whether you're a hardcore gamer or just looking for something to keep you entertained on the go, you'll want to stick around as we count down the top 10 Windows handhelds featuring devices like the Asus ROG Ally, GPD Win 4, INAO Next Lite, and many more. Let's get started. Asus ROG Ally. Asus just dropped its latest gem, the Asus ROG Ally, stepping up to challenge the Steam Deck and Nintendo Switch. Running on Windows 11, the ROG Ally is a beast when it comes to gaming versatility. Whether it's hitting up your favorite game stores or streaming through cloud platforms, this gadget's got you covered. Let's break down what makes it stand out, shall we? So, what sets the ROG Ally apart from the Steam Deck and the good old Nintendo Switch? For starters, the ROG Ally is like the cool new kid on the block with its AMD Ryzen Z1 series processor and a stunning full HD touchscreen that boasts a 120Hz refresh rate. We're talking crisp, fluid visuals here. Now, unlike the Steam Deck and Switch, the ROG Ally runs on Windows 11. This means you've got the keys to a whole kingdom of online game stores and cloud services. Think Epic Game Store, Nvidia GeForce Now, PC Game Pass, cloud gaming from Xbox, and Steam. It's like having a mini PC in your hands. To sweeten the deal, Asus throws in a 90-day Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Trial. That's a ton of games to dive into from day one. Price-wise, Asus isn't messing around. The ROG Ally starts at $599 with a beefier version at $699. Currently, there are two models on offer, each packing a punch with AMD Ryzen Z1 and Z1 Extreme chipsets. The specs? Oh, they're sweet. We're talking about a 7-inch full HD touchscreen, 16GB LPDDR5 memory, a 512GB SSD, and some killer graphics power. Plus, it's compatible with wireless controllers for that couch gaming vibe. Compatibility-wise, pretty much any game you can run on Windows should work on the Ally. They're even calling it the most powerful graphics and best quality screen on a handheld device to date. High praise indeed. GPD Win 4 Get ready for GPD Win 4. The handheld gaming scene is heating up with more options than ever. This one is a cool little gadget that's stirring things up. Priced at $799, it's a bit more than the new Asus ROG Ally, but it's got its own charm with a vibe that's totally PS Vita-esque. Inside, it's packing some serious heat. A Ryzen 7 6800U processor, 16 GB of DDR5 memory, and up to one terabyte of NVM storage. It's a compact powerhouse, but don't expect to upgrade to 32 GB memory, like with some other models. The real deal is the full, bloat-free Windows 11 it runs on. No more game compatibility headaches like you might have with SteamOS on Linux. It's basically a mini computer in your hands, and you can even hook it up to a monitor and peripherals to make it your daily driver. This bad boy has a 6-inch screen that slides up to reveal a full keyboard. The keys are flat, and while they're not perfect, they're a nice touch if you prefer physical keys over touchscreen typing. There's a switch to toggle between mouse mode and controller mode, making it versatile for different gaming styles. Plus, it's got a tiny trackpad and touch control for precision moves. The layout is reminiscent of an Xbox controller, but with a couple of extras like a fingerprint reader for easy login and some programmable buttons at the back. The face buttons and D-pad are small but effective, and the triggers and bumpers feel great, especially for racing games and shooters. The GPD Win 4 comes loaded with a USB Type-C port, a USB Type-A port, a power button, volume rocker, headphone jack, and a speedy micro SD slot. So is it worth it? It really boils down to what you value in a handheld PC. It's like a mini laptop with its built-in mouse and keyboard, making it unique compared to others running on the same chip. INAO Next Lite. 
Ioneo is shaking things up with its newest portable gaming machine, the Ioneo Next Lite. This little powerhouse is not only super affordable at $299 during its crowdfunding phase, but it's also breaking away from the norm by rocking Windows 11 instead of Linux. Here's the scoop. Ioneo announced on their Twitter account that the Next Lite will come pre-installed with Windows 11 64-bit Home Edition. That's great news for folks who are more comfortable with Windows than Linux. But hey, if you're a Linux fan, don't worry. They've got you covered with the option to switch to the open source Hollow ISO project version of Linux based on SteamOS. So why is this cool? Well, Ioneo's other models like the Next and Next Pro are sticking with Linux to go toe to toe with the Steam Deck. But by choosing Windows for the Next Lite, Ioneo is aiming to attract a broader crowd. Now let's chat about the big elephant in the room, user interface. We all know Windows is everywhere, but it can be a bit awkward on gaming handhelds. Devices like the Asus ROG a Live and the Lenovo Legion Go use Windows too, but they don't always nail that seamless, custom feel you get with SteamOS on the Steam Deck. Ioneo's got a chance to stand out here. The game jazzes up Windows 11 to make it feel just right for the next light. They could really turn some heads, especially since it's a lesser known brand competing with the big dogs. Lenovo Legion Go. Lenovo Legion Go, it's a Windows-based gaming handheld that's really pushing the boundaries. First up, the display is a total showstopper. We're talking a massive 8.8-inch screen that packs a visual punch with its 2560 into 1600 pixel resolution. And with up to a 144Hz refresh rate, the graphics are as smooth as butter, making your gaming experience feel ultra-luxurious. Now, the detachable controllers are a game changer. They're like the Nintendo Switch controllers, but with a Lenovo twist. They snap off easily and charge wirelessly, super convenient for on-the-go gaming. Plus, they feel great in your hands with a design that's both ergonomic and stylish. Let's chat about the FPS mode, a unique feature that really sets the Legion Go apart. It transforms one of the controllers into a mouse-like device for precision aiming. It's a clever and innovative approach to handheld gaming controls, offering a new level of gameplay experience. Battery life gets a shout out too. The Legion Go houses a 49.2 watt hour battery, which is impressively larger than many competitors. It gives you a decent amount of playtime, and with the simplified settings overlay, you can tweak performance settings to optimize battery usage. The Legion Go also boasts a fantastic build quality. Its sturdy kickstand is perfect for tabletop gaming, allowing you to game hands-free with the controllers detached. This feature adds a nice versatility to your gaming setup. And the convenience of dual USB-C charging ports, one on the top and one on the bottom, cannot be overstated. It means you can charge the device in whichever way suits your gaming setup, a small but thoughtful design detail. All in all, it's a bold step forward in the world of handheld gaming, especially for Windows enthusiasts looking for a portable option. Ioneo Slide, we got our hands on this beauty and let me tell you, Ioneo Slide is something else. Priced at $799, this one gives you a unique unboxing experience. I mean, can you believe it came in a VHS style box? Talk about a nostalgic throwback. It's like the INAO team knew exactly how to hit that sweet spot for us folks who remember the good old VHS days. Now, let's talk performance. This bad boy comes with 64 GB of RAM, so it's lightning fast. I took it for a spin with Ori and the Will of the Wisps, a game that my Switch struggled with, and it was a completely different experience on the slide stunning graphics and seamless gameplay it was an absolute delight we didn't stop there resident evil 4 handled like a dream first person shooters glitch free and baldur's gate 3 it ran it like a champ the best part i could take this powerhouse anywhere breaking free from the confines of playing in just one spot the slide isn't just about raw power though it's got some cool bells and whistles the screen slides and tilts for the perfect viewing angle the customization is off the charts. You can tweak everything from gaming settings to the keyboard backlight colors. Plus, with a four terabytes SSD, it's the most advanced setup I've ever used. Now, it's not all rainbows. 
The battery life is pretty average for gaming PCs, giving me about an hour and a half of playtime on heavy games like Baldur's Gate 3. The slide keyboard is neat, but a bit of an odd size, and the device itself is on the heavier side. But honestly, these are small prices to pay for such a powerhouse. While its keyboard might not be the star of the show in gaming context, it's handy for web browsing and chatting, and for heavy-duty games, this device has got your back. I'm definitely going to be glued to it for a long time. GPD Win Mini This little marvel is not just a shrunken down version of the GPD Win Max 2, it's an entirely new beast that packs a punch in a pocket-sized package. Starting with the cool stuff, the Win Mini flaunts a 7-inch FHD, 120Hz display that's just perfect for gaming on the go. Its crisp and fluid visuals are sure to keep you glued to the screen. Plus, it's equipped with a QWERTY keyboard and a touchpad, alongside game controllers conveniently located above the touchpad, making gaming sessions a breeze. And hey, if you like your gaming setup a tad more laptop-like, it comes with detachable grips that you can add or remove as you like. It's like having the best of both worlds, a gaming device and a mini laptop in one. Under the hood, this little dynamo is powered by an AMD Ryzen 7040U series processor with Radeon 700M series integrated graphics. What does this mean for you? It's set to deliver a performance that could even surpass the beloved Steam Deck. And with its Oculink connector, offering a 63 Gbps connection, hooking up to the GPDG1 graphics dock is a breeze, unleashing even more graphical prowess. Price-wise, GPD is aiming with a starting price of $699 during crowdfunding, moving up to $820 in retail, a pretty sweet deal for what you're getting. The GPD Win Mini may look familiar, taking cues from the GPD Win Max 2, but it's its own thing. A compact powerhouse that's like a true successor to the GPD Win 2. This nearly pocket-sized handheld boasts not just powerful processing, but also a design that screams gaming. From what we've seen and heard, especially from the peaks given by YouTuber The Fox, the Win Mini is gearing up to be a major player in the handheld gaming PC arena. With up to 32 GB of RAM, Hall sensor joysticks, and a size that can fit into your pocket, this device is all about gaming without limits. One Xplayer 2 Pro. One Xplayer 2 Pro is a beast of a handheld gaming PC that's taking the gaming world by storm. This little powerhouse is all about delivering top-notch performance without cutting any corners on the must-have features. At the heart of this gaming beast is the AMD Ryzen 7 7840U processor, which means you're getting some serious horsepower for all your gaming needs. But that's not all. It boasts an impressive 8.4-inch display that's just perfect for diving deep into your favorite games. And let's talk about comfort. It's got ergonomic controllers mounted on the sides that you can detach whenever you want. This feature is a game changer for gaming on the go. Running on Windows, this handheld console is ready to rumble with up to a whopping 64 GB of RAM and up to 4 terabytes of internal storage. That's a lot of space for all your games, and it's sure to keep even the most hardcore gamers happy. The One X Player 2 Pro doesn't just stop at performance. It comes with a touchscreen that supports 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, making your gaming experience even more immersive. And if you feel like switching to a mini laptop mode, just snap on the detachable keyboard accessory and you're good to go. Now, let's talk trends. The One X Player 2 Pro is right at the forefront of handheld gaming PCs. Its popularity is a clear sign that there's a huge demand for gaming on the go. And those detachable controllers, they're not just cool, they're paving the way for future innovations in handheld devices. In terms of industry implications, the it is big deal. It's showing gaming hardware manufacturers the potential for creating powerful, versatile gaming devices. For the consumer electronics world, this means there's a market for lightweight, ergonomic handheld PCs. And for computer hardware companies, there's a clear opportunity to innovate and meet the growing demand for portable devices that pack a punch in terms of storage and RAM. Ioneo 2S Ioneo 2S is a fresh and exciting entry in the handheld gaming PC world, trying to give the big names a run for their money. 
As a relatively new player in the market, Ioneo is making some pretty bold moves, and the 2S model is definitely worth a look. Design-wise, the Ioneo 2S has got style. It sports a sleek glass coating, which not only ups its classy vibe, but also adds some extra protection for the screen. I mean, compared to other handhelds that go for a more plastic feel, this glass touch is a real step up. Although it adds a bit of weight, making it slightly heavier than its counterparts like the ROG Ally, it's still comfy enough to hold for marathon gaming sessions without any arm aches. With a starting price of $999, the Ioneo 2S rocks the traditional 7-inch screen layout with controller pads on the sides. But they have spiced things up with some nifty glow-up rings around the analog sticks. Plus, it comes in cool colors, including a retro-inspired one that's a nod to the classic NES. For display, the Ioneo 2S doesn't disappoint. It's got a vibrant 7-inch IPS screen, and while it's not OLED, the colors are still stunningly realistic. Whether you're swinging through New York and Spider-Man or exploring Horizon Zero Dawn, this screen makes every game look fantastic. Performance-wise, the Ioneo 2S is a powerhouse, running on an AMD Ryzen 7 7840U processor. It slightly edges out rivals like the ROG Ally and Benchmarks and offers up to a generous 64 GB RAM and 4 TB SSD for all your gaming needs. Sure, it's a bit heavier on the wallet and the battery life isn't breaking any records, but the Ioneo 2S still stands out. Its versatility as a Windows 11 device means you've got access to a massive game library and streaming services. If you're up for trying something new in your gaming adventures, the Ioneo 2S is definitely worth checking out. Ioneo Kun. It is like the Steam Deck has a supercharged sibling with an even better battery life, albeit at a higher price point. But hey, sometimes you gotta pay a bit more for top tier tech, right? So, what's the scoop on the Ioneo Kun? This bad boy is rocking a beefy 75 watt hour battery pack, promising almost double the playtime you'd get from a Steam Deck at the same wattage. We're talking about three and a quarter hours of gaming goodness. That's pretty sweet, especially for those marathon gaming sessions. Design-wise, Ioneo is really stepping up their game. The Kuhn comes with an 8.4-inch screen boasting a dazzling 2560x1600 resolution and vibrant colors, plus it's got dual touchpads, a bunch of extra buttons, and beefier triggers to make gaming more intuitive and fun. But wait, there's more! The Ioneo Kuhn also features a little Windows Hello camera for easy face login, a nice touch that's often overlooked in handhelds. And let's talk controls. We have got Hall Effect joysticks and triggers to keep that annoying drift at bay, and HD linear motors for some sweet rumble action. Under the hood, it's running on the same AMD Ryzen 7840U chip as many other high-end handhelds. Ioneo says its cooling system can crank up the power to 54 watts in turbo mode, which is pretty wild. Now about that price tag, the Ioneo Kuhn starts at $1,209 for the 16GB RAM and 512GB storage model and goes up from there. It's a bit of an investment, sure, but if you're looking for top-notch performance and battery life in a handheld, the Kuhn might just be your dream machine. Overall, if you're in the market for a device that offers great performance, a stunning display, and a battery that keeps going and going, the Ioneo Kuhn is definitely worth checking out. MSI Claw Revealed at CES 2024, MSI is shaking things up with the first handheld powered by an Intel Core Ultra Meteor Lake CPU. Now that's a big deal. The MSI Claw is promising some serious game time with its 75 watt hour battery pack, outdoing its rivals and ensuring longer play sessions. This is big news, especially considering how battery life is often the Achilles heel of handheld gaming PCs. Running on Windows 11, the MSI Claw is all set to play all your favorite PC and Android games. Plus, it's got a sleek 7-inch 120Hz display, and the design is comfortably familiar with a layout that's easy for any gamer to jump right into. Now, let's talk looks. MSI isn't reinventing the wheel here, but the claw's black chassis with red accents gives it a sleek and stylish vibe. The ergonomic design, coupled with RGB lighting around the analog sticks and face buttons, add that extra oomph 
It's got all the controls you're familiar with from PS5 or Xbox Series X controllers, so you'll feel right at home. The MSI Claws ports are smartly placed, avoiding any accidental touches during intense gaming sessions, and with dimensions similar to the ROG Ally and INAO 2S, it's designed to fit comfortably in your hands. Under the hood, the MSI Claw is sporting the impressive Intel Meteor Lake CPU. It's leveraging Intel XCSS technology for better game rendering and smoother gameplay. You're looking at 16 GB of RAM and up to 1 TB of SSD storage, ensuring you've got the muscle for all your gaming adventures. Priced between $699 to $799, this one has caught quite the attention with that budget price point. MSI Center M is the CLAW's dedicated launcher and interface, designed to streamline your gaming experience. It promises easy access to your game libraries and settings, aiming to make your handheld gaming as intuitive as possible. With a 53-watt-hour battery, MSI is targeting a solid two hours of battery life under full load, which is pretty competitive in the handheld space. Plus, they've got some advanced cooling tech to keep the claw running smoothly during those marathon gaming sessions. With its impressive specs, sleek design, and the promise of superior performance and battery life, it's definitely one to watch out for. And there you have it, folks. Our roundup of the top 10 Windows handheld gaming devices. From the powerful INAO 2S to the budget-friendly INAO Next Lite, this list has a diverse range of options tailored for different gaming needs and budgets. Whether you're a gaming enthusiast or a casual player, there's definitely a Windows handheld out there for you. Which one caught your eye the most? Are you planning to grab one of these handheld wonders? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video, where we uncover more marvels in the world of gaming and entertainment.